Simple D form. Okay, I wanted to cover Ben separately, only because it required a special trick. It required me to go into object and apply the location, rotation, and scale. We're going to go back to this idea here in a little bit, but first let's cover the rest of the modifier, because that simple modifier actually has, uh, I think, three or four more components on it. So let's add a box. Move it into the center of the scene a little bit. Scale it up in Z. Okay. Go into edit mode, hit A to unselect anything. Control R. And that's just insert the edge loop. And then wheel mouse up before you apply it. There we go. So that allows you to insert several edge loops all at the same time. Okay, let's go back to object mode and apply simple deform twist. Okay, so twist kind of works like this. Automatically works right out the box. Okay, oops. Now, if I wanted to maybe change the look of this, check this out. Shift D to duplicate it. I'm gonna move a part here. Shift D to duplicate it and move a part here. So now I have this. Deformers jump onto other geometry based upon join. So let's take all three of these and now go into object join automatically it changes. It is now wrapped around the first origin. Okay, so this part right here, let me try to highlight this. That one right there is the first origin. You can notice it has this origin right in the center of it. Okay, well, let's go like this in object mode. Let's go object, apply, origin to geometry automatically you get a different look. So it's not a wrong thing. You can actually produce lots of different looks based upon the origin's location. Uh, take this for example, if I put my cursor over here, so let's go three on the keyboard, and I'll hit my right mouse button to place the 3D cursor there. Let's go seven on the keyboard and place my rotate, cursor here. So now in the perspective view, I'm putting it right next to there. Well, if I did this object transform origin to 3D cursor, I get a whole different look. So just know there's tons of things you could do with these. It's just you got to use your imagination. You can move your um, origin around and get all kinds of different looks. Origin to geometry. Got this. So, what if, what if I wanted to apply this to this? Just before I show you that, let me show you the rest of this modifier to know that there's two more things. There's a stretch. Okay, so you get this weird look. Okay, I undid that. What if I wanted to apply a simple deform on top of a simple deform? If I change one of these, let's say I change twist to stretch, I get this. Undo that. If I change it down here to stretch, it first twists and then stretches. Okay. If I add another modifier in here called multi res and subdivide it, I get this look a bunch of wires. 
that are stretched out. Now, the one thing though is I can never go to just bend. And the why that is, let me kind of apply that just to show you what it looks like. So let's add another modifier in here. And the last modifier, I want to do a bend. And then a factor it out. Okay, so you're going to get this look. It's really weird. Good for an abstract piece, but um, really what I want to do is produce kind of a ring. I'm going to delete bend. Ben doesn't like to play with anything else. So, starting at the top, I'm going to apply these deformers. Okay. Also, there's kind of a little bug, and it's not really a bug, so don't jump down my throat, Blender people. But I've noticed that some of the modifiers, even though they are attached, if they are across several pieces, if I duplicate this, sometimes I will find that the modifier was never gone. So I'm duplicating this only because I've come across that a couple times. So I'm just going to duplicate it just to see if the modifier is truly gone again. Um, yeah, I just experienced that a couple times making this video and it was very annoying. But that's how you get rid of it if you ever come across it. Now, let me uh, rotate this part out. Let's go in here and type in 90 degrees. Let's go into Object, Apply Rotation, Apply Scale. Now this time when I bend it, it's not, I used the x-axis last time. Hopefully it works, but uh, sometimes you're going to have to play around with that. See how it's not playing well with the x-axis. Let's rotate it again. 90, object, apply rotation. Simple deform, bend, and all of a sudden it works. So bend is only the one that kind of requires a little bit more love. Other ones work well together. Okay, so that's the rest of the simple deform. Let's look at something else you can do with that real quick before we go on. So the in the next video, I'll show you a very unique way to use that to make complex abstract shapes.